and welcome to this session, CAD to CAM. During this session, I will demonstrate how we can import projects or models into PowerMill via Vault. Doing so ensures that we are working on the most current version available. If we take a look at both sides of the model, it will require two operations. The first operation, OP10, will be held in a three-jaw chuck. The second operation, OP20, will be held in a fixture. Toolpath 10 will remove the stock from the sidewalls using an area clearance strategy. To prevent the tool from machining the pockets, I have created a boundary. Even though my toolpaths are collision and gauge free against the model, the NC programs will need to be checked for collisions with the machine. Also checked will be the connection moves between the toolpaths. Shown here. I will now simulate both OP10 and OP20. After the face spinning and area clearance comes the spot drilling. Followed by drilling the six holes in the top face. We can now see the pilot holes being drilled in the three corners. The three pockets will be roughed out with a high-speed Vortex area clearance toolpath. Profile passes will now finish the outside walls and the pockets. A helical milling cycle will complete the counterbore holes on the top face and also on the three corners. An area clearance strategy is used to rough out the pockets on the three faces. Followed by a 3D offset finishing strategy. In the completion of OP10 we will see a chamfering operation. In OP20 an area clearance toolpath is used to clear the side walls, followed by a face milling operation. To rough out the pocket, we are using a high speed vortex area clearance toolpath. I will finish the pocket with a short 2mm ball nose tool. The 5 axis toolpath has the tool pointing towards a line with a 15 degree tilt. And finally, chamfers are applied to finish the component. And finally, here is a simulated model of our finished component. And now I'm going to hand you over to Justin Barnes, who is going to take you through the inspection process. Thank you, Richard, for demonstrating the machining process within PowerMill. My name is Justin Barnes, and I'm a head of digital advanced manufacturing within the CADLINE organization. Myself and extended team have all previously worked for the Autodesk organization, and we collectively have over 150 years experience utilizing the Autodesk Make solutions. In this session, we will look at Autodesk metrology software, also known as PowerInspect, and how this will benefit you and your organization, and what types of hardware this can be utilized with after the demonstration is finished, I will be more than happy to take any questions that you may have regarding this process.
The inspection process is an integral and very important part of the manufacturing process to ensure components have been machined accurately. Customers are able to utilize the automated setup within the software to minimize manual clocking up methods, and we've seen these reduced by up to 80%. By allowing faster setup times, this will ensure that you are able to meet your customers' deadlines and demands and will eliminate the need to rework components, which can be very costly. Engineers are able to standardize best working practices across various pieces of metrology equipment and share these with the extended team to ensure repeatability and consistency throughout the inspection process. Reports can then be customized to customers' requirements and be issued with the projects. Power Inspect is a very versatile piece of metrology software and can be utilized with various measurement devices, from manual arms, automated CMMs, laser scanners, right through to five axis CNC machine tools by using on-machine verification techniques to ensure accuracy and instill confidence with the inspecting engineer. I will now demonstrate how PowerInspect on machine verification is utilized within the manufacturing process. In this PowerInspect demonstration, on machine verification is being utilized within the software, which includes comprehensive inspection tools that measure components while they are still situated on the machine table. As on machine verification is being used, we will create a user defined alignment, which will be the same as a G54 setup that has been used earlier on in the power mill session. There are automatic collision features that can be turned on and used to ensure that no collisions occur between measuring geometric and surface inspections. This ensures confidence in the user. Geometric features can easily be selected from the CAD model by using the software's built-in wireframe selector. These features can then be measured and compared against the nominal values utilized throughout the design process. Each individual feature has the ability to specify its own positional and dimensional tolerance, and engineers can quickly identify features are within their specified tolerances and highlight any potential problems early on in the manufacturing process. Most industries have geometric dimensioning and tolerancing stipulations on their drawings and models. Power Inspect's inbuilt and intuitive GDT wizard can easily be utilized to compare features against their nominated tolerances. These are then identified in the report. These in process techniques are crucial to ensure that the component is being manufactured accurately to avoid expensive reworking costs and ensuring material wastage is kept to a minimum. Surface inspections are easily generated with Power Inspect's selected surface method and deviations can be easily identified and captured with color confetti. Once the inspection program has been created, this can then be simulated by the user before the NC code is created and sent to the CNC machine. Dimensions are easily created from measured features and labels are used to identify these features. Screen captures can then be created and placed into the report within Power Inspect. The vault environment will be used to upload the PDF and then this can be associated to the correct CAD model, allowing engineers to access only known versions to review. These can then be signed off for the next stage of the manufacturing process.